Sponging is another easy and essential basic technique, and really when we're talking about sponging, we're really referring to a natural sea sponge. Well, there's plenty of other synthetic kinds of sponges that you can use that can create similar effects, but these natural sea sponges are just terrific for coming in and using the sponge to create nice little sort of organic patterns. These are great for toning down an area, for adding a little bit of color on something, for giving some patina, some sort of soot or grime, or um, just any place where you really want to get a very natural. It's very easy to do. Uh, and um, it's fun, simple. One of the things that you want to make sure that you are doing is changing your uh, stamp pattern. Every time you, you um, raise your hand off of the surface, you want to move to a different surface of the sponge. Now you see, I haven't really charged it very much here. I could really be using a lot more of this surface of the sponge. So I'm going to go back to my little palette here, pick up a little bit more paint, and I've got more places to go with this sponging. And I'm just sort of flipping it around. Every stamp, every, every time I drop the sponge, I've changed the direction of it. You do want a really good size sponge like this. It's nice kind of, this one's getting a little old, kind of getting a little loose, but um, it's still a good size. When they're too small, you end up having to kind of pinch it a lot, and then you end up sort of putting your fingerprints into the stamp. And um, or repeating a pattern too quickly because you don't have enough sponge to move around. It's really the essential part of this is to to constantly be changing the direction of the sponge as you apply the paint. Otherwise, you're going to very quickly create a repeating pattern that you're not going to want to do. Now, the sea sponges are great, but you can even use things like synthetic sponges here for a stencil. You can use the, a synthetic sponge like this to create. Uh, a stamp texture, a brick texture. I'm just going to use a really cheap, this is just a real simple kitchen sponge and a little homemade uh, stencil just made with some tape and paper. Give myself a little fleur de lis on here. And I'm just using the, the sponge to sort of uh, stamp the paint onto the stencil or through the stencil. And then when I lift it back, I've got a real quick, simple fleur de lis stamp. So you can use it to create, use sponges to actually create. Uh, their own impression. Even that little kitchen sponge gives a kind of a neat effect. Lots of different kinds of sponges, different kinds of cleaning tools will give kind of different kinds of impressions. Of course, sponge rollers are terrific. It lets you create effects like this with a roller on very large surfaces very quickly. That's great. And of course, this uh, humble kitchen sponge is terrific for wiping away drips, keeping it clean, of course. Um, wipe away a drip, uh, change your mind on a little shadow you might have put somewhere. You can almost use it like a paint eraser and just wipe away what you don't want to see. So sponging, another essential basic technique.